Hello, Bill Holland here, and today we're going to talk about how to become a freelance writer. Uh, by definition, a freelance writer means someone who writes for others as an independent contractor uh, for a wage or for an income of some sort. Uh, my story is fairly well known by people who know me. I quit a decent paying teaching job uh, about, well it's been four years in November, anyway, I quit the job and um, had no backup plan. I was fed up with the, with the principal and decided that I uh, was much too old to be working a job that I no longer found joy in, so one day I just walked in and quit and uh, went home and, and thought, what in the world did I just do? Uh, I've got bills to pay, and I've got no income. And at the time, I was 62 years old. And uh, so I sat down and thought about it for a couple of days and decided I was going to do what I had always wanted to do, and that was become a writer. So the first step in becoming a freelance writer is to declare to the world that you are a freelance writer. Uh, fairly easy. Okay, we've got the first step out of the way. The next step's a little more difficult. Uh, do you have game? <clears throat> Can you actually write? If not, then step number one was kind of a waste of time. Because it's not going to take long for people who pay money for writers to find out that you can't write. So, you know, before you take the, the drastic step of declaring yourself a freelance writer, make sure you understand how to write. If you can't put together a simple declarative sentence, then you've got serious problems as far as, as making income. Okay, so we've got those two things out of the way. Um, I would suggest... If you're serious about this, don't quit your pay, your day job, but if you're going to start out, you know, on a slow basis, just gradual, working your way into it, uh, go to a, a site like Vistaprint and get some business cards printed up. You know, they'll do it nice and cheap, about $9 for 500 of them. That gives you a professional look. And freelance writing... Besides the fact that you know how to write, okay, it's about appearance. Okay, you have to talk the talk and walk the talk. Okay, so you have to appear like you are a freelance writer, that you're a professional. Business cards will do that. So will a website. If you can't afford to pay for a website, then start a blog. Okay, but something on an online presence that says you are a writer and you're serious about this. Once we've done that, then we have to find paying jobs, okay? That's not as difficult as it may sound, but, you know, and I'll, I'll tell you what the but is for. You can go online and find content mills that will pay you $5 to write 400 words, and it's fairly easy to get those jobs, you know, if you can write. Uh, any any semi-skilled writer can write 400 words that make you know a certain amount of sense and can can learn to insert keywords into those 400 and get paid five five dollars for your time or ten dollars. Okay, you can write 400 words in about 20 minutes. Is it worth it to you? Is 20 minutes of work worth five dollars or worth ten dollars? But what if the content mill then wants you to add pictures, add photographs to the article, and what if they want you to do research? Now we're looking at an hour for $10 or for $5. My time's more valuable <clears throat> than $10 an hour. I don't say that with ego. I say that simply as a matter of fact. I've worked for over 45 years. I have no desire to work for $10 an hour. Not going to do it. There are a lot of people out there that can pay. And I understand in today's economy, I get it. Okay, I get it. There are people who need money. And that's how these content mills stay alive. 
they're counting on the fact that there are people in this economy who need money. And $10 an hour sounds fantastic to some people. If they can get enough of those content jobs and do, say, 8 or 10 articles a day, you know, they're making 100 bucks a day. It's better than nothing. Better than food stamps. And a lot of people are doing that. I won't. So, finding, a, uh, finding jobs in freelance writing, you can go to content mills. There is money out there to be made. But there are a lot of other solutions to this problem. A lot of other avenues you can take. Uh, my first job was with a content mill. And actually, right now, I still have one of my original jobs is a content mill, but they pay well. Okay, They don't pay what you'll see in most content mills, the 5 or $10 for an article. Uh, they actually pay good money. They want quality, and I've been with them for three years. Um, but most of the money I've made has been finding jobs of individual companies who have advertised that they want a writer, a blog writer. And, and so we've skipped the middleman, the content mill management. We've skipped them. And we go from, and so I'm getting the money that the content mill would get after they've paid me. And then you're talking about pretty good money. When you're talking 30 or $40 for a 400-word article or 500-word article, now that's pretty good because you can do a couple in an hour. Now we're talking good money. You know, you'll find that you can pay your bills fairly quickly once you start establishing yourself and getting some of those kinds of jobs. Where do you find them? Uh, you'll, you'll find them sometimes online. For me, it was easy. Oh, I, I have to back step just a bit, back to just once. One of the jobs I've had for three years now is a real estate company in Los Angeles, and they sell luxury homes. And I write their property descriptions, and I write uh, blog entries for them. And it's paid well. Uh, you know, that's been a good paying gig for, for th about three years now. I found that online. They advertise online, not through a content mill. They, they advertise by themselves, and, you know, I, um, I um, applied and I got the job. And that got me to thinking about skipping the content mills, skipping the middleman. And so now the jobs that I get are ones that I go out and find. You know, think about it this way. Every business that has an online presence has to have a, has to have a freelance writer. Okay. Either the business management themselves is doing the writing or they've hired someone to do the writing for them. And so I go out and find those people. Any business with an online presence, think of that. Okay, how many businesses are in your hometown? If you don't want to do blogs for businesses, then you can um, you can do ghostwriting. Uh, some some businesses or some some celebrities or some you know <coughs> fairly well known local celebrities or whatever uh, may want to write a book, but they can't write. They'll hire a ghostwriter. Uh, you can, oh, there's, there's infinite ways to make money as a freelance writer. Um, I've made it as an editor. I've edited people's work. Uh, I've written term papers. Uh, I've written resumes. Um, um, goodness. I, 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 let your imagination go crazy. You can, you can be a freelance writer for magazines and newspapers. If you're going to do the magazines or newspapers, though, let me caution you, start small, okay, and start local. Don't think you're going to write a query letter to good, you know, better, good homes and gardens or whatever that is, good housekeeping, and, you know, make $500 an article from them, you're not going to do it, okay. You have to start small and build, build a reputation. So, you know, you go online, there's online magazines that'll pay $40 for an article, $50 for an article. Query them with an idea and, and build slowly, you know. Find alternative newspapers in your area. Query them, get an article, get a byline, and now you start building. And you build, you know, local, then you build state, then you build regional, then you build national. Okay. 
But it takes time. You're not gonna you're not gonna jump in and start making five hundred dollars an article. It's not gonna happen. Like anything else, you have to work at your craft. Okay. But start small. Okay. I, I want to make sure you hear that message. Uh, be realistic. Understand that you're a newcomer and that you're going to have to pay your dues. I, you know, I also tell a story that within six months I was making $600 a month. And that's pretty good money for a freelance writer just starting out with no clue about what they're doing. You know, I was reading everything I could about freelance writing while I was sending out, you know, job applications trying to get work. And it just worked out that I found a couple good paying jobs almost immediately. To the point where in six months I was making 600. There aren't many freelance writers that can say that. And then I build over that to, you know, to the point after three years, four years, you know, I was paying my bills and not having to worry about it. Um, not having to worry about it to the point where you're constantly looking though. You know, there's no guarantee in freelance writing. A couple months ago, I lost a customer uh, with $300 a month that was paying me $300 a month. You, this is a continual game. You know, if you think you're going to be a freelance writer and then, then save up money and retire, uh, probably not. You know, as long as you're going to be a freelance writer, you're going to continually be out there looking for work. And you're going to lose some, and then you have to look for more work. That's the nature of the gig. But the money is there. So, declare yourself a freelance writer, get business cards, get a website or a blog, and then start looking for work. And understand that your time is valuable. Don't take pennies for dollars worth of work. Okay. Hang in there, pay your dues, and things will work out eventually. There's a lot of writers out there, but there are also a ton of of freelance gigs that will pay. You know, this is the wave of the future. The future is here. If you want to be on that wave, then learn how to play the game, you know, learn how to appear to be professional, and then go work your tail off and find jobs. That's all I've got for you today. Good luck. You can find me online, William D. Holland. I'm everywhere online. I've got a blog, Artistry and Words. And uh, if you've got any questions, hook up with me online and we'll, we'll talk about it. It's H-O-L-A-N-D, Holland, 1145 at yahoo.com. You can get a hold of me anytime. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, spread your wings and fly. Bye-bye for now.